What's up, YouTube? So you're probably wondering why this video looks a little different. Um, well, uh, I'm recording with my phone because I just got the new GoPro Hero 9 Black. Um, thought I'd do like an opening video with y'all. This is what I'm gonna be using for my videos now. I had the Hero 8 Black. Uh, for a little bit. Nothing was wrong with it, but uh, I had the opportunity of getting this So I thought I'd do a video of opening it and kind of reviewing it with you guys um, So let's just uh, get right into it um, So the front camera is going to be 20 megapixels uh, They're uh, Advertising that this is a 5k 30 frames uh, Per second it's a it'll be able to do 4k 60 uh, which the older camera uh, was able to do as well. Um, I don't know if the slow-mo changed uh, on the older one, um, but it looks like it does eight times uh, slow-mo. Um, it can go up to 33 feet uh, in water and not be affected. It does voice control just like the other one did. Data overlays, I'm not too sure about. Super photos that was in the last one, uh, but it'll probably be a lot more crisp since it's 5k. Um, the raw, raw, I'm not too sure about. Um, raw, I'm not too sure about, uh, but probably uh, clear photos with the raw uh, setting. Um, this one does webcam mode, but apparently the 8 did it as well. And it has a touch screen. So right off the bat, this one has a, um, you can see what's being recorded on this screen. I saw it in the ad. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, has a case uh, that they're showing, um, but you can visibly see that it's coming in a case now. Um, and then the essentials that they had in the other previous models, a couple of uh, mounting points, the screw mount, uh, battery and a charging cable so cool let's open this another thing I'm, wor I'm wondering about where it says raw or any of the photo questions is I'm wondering if my extreme plus sand disk is gonna work uh, on this or should I get like an extreme pro now and what five where can 5k even be displayed on interesting okay so a little booklet subscribe to GoPro which I already did I don't use it for cloud storage I don't really buy the mounts and stuff from them hundred dollars off the next GoPro which they kind of did but I guess now on this model they're forcing you to in order to get the discount off already know that putting in the battery and where the power button is and design wise it doesn't look too different as far as like um, how the 8 was actually no this thing is huge bro holy cow I just realized I bought the media mod and I'm wondering if it's gonna even fit on this but we'll find out since I haven't even opened that up um, yeah so oh, booklet. some questions boring stuff cool we'll look into that later so yeah this thing is clean man super clean is this detachable it was in the ad, so you can apparently change the lens for like low light and stuff like that, but I won't mess with this right now. Yeah, it looks like it comes off, but I don't want to press on it too much. Okay, let's take this wrap off. All right, so just like the eight, put your thumb here. Okay, it's a little different. Dang, this thing is sturdy. The 8 would kind of like, if you mess with this too much, it would just fly off. 
And the casing of this is really strong compared to the 8 or even of the other models. Which is kind of heavy. So they integrated the whole thing that where they had from the 8 with the mounting point. I think they call it versatile mounting point. Hoo hoo hoo. I wonder if this is still detachable. No, it doesn't look like it. No, it's not detachable. Interesting. You can see that there's a pin going across. If the camera catches that. Uh, memory card slot. Cool beans, cool beans. Uh, let me close this. Let me see how we even close this. Okay, so it snaps over and then it clicks on its own. You don't even have to open it. So this is just clicking off altogether. Interesting. Cool. All right, so that looks like there's something over here. Do I go like this? No. Hmm. If I break this, I have insurance, so make sure y'all don't break yours. No, this thing's not coming off. Maybe it's a lanyard point? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to open this. And for functionality's sake, what I'll do is almost lost my memory card over here. I'll put my old one in here. Cool, that fits. Type C charger. No brainer on that one. Everybody's going type C, even Apple. You know, my friends are telling me the battery's different. It makes sense. This thing is huge, man. That's like quarter of the eight battery, a little bit bigger than that. So, put this in here. Cool. Clicks over. We got the two tra traditional mounts. You usually see this on top of the box and where they usually display it openly, the camera. But, <clears throat> And this one, they just have it in the box. That's cool. This mount, the sticky mount, the curved one. Cool. And the mount screw. Cool beans. So that's it. That's all that's in here. Huh. Interesting. All right. So let's just go ahead and turn this on. Let me see what the, the front does anything. The traditional beeping. Oh, I noticed my was showing my ring light. Oh, that's so cool. So like the number nine, if you notice, there's a shadow right here. I thought that was the display, but it's actually showing what the camera is looking at. So there's the ring light. There's my hand. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. See that right there? Right on the nine. I don't know if it's loading. Let's look at the screen. Oh, okay, so the language. Obviously, we're speaking English here. In Greece. Capture the location where your videos share. Why not? Install the GoPro app. I'm using my phone, so leave your camera on. Follow the app instructions. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll pause and connect to the app real quick. 